what up peeps welcome back to another episode i hope you're all doing well today is monday the first of may it's a bank holiday normally it is quite busy on bank holidays and i didn't want to miss this one even though we've got one next week for the uh, coronation of king charles i just wanted to get out because it's such a beautiful evening the time is currently 12 minutes past six the sun is shining i'm online with deliveroo i'm just going to be waiting for the first order to come in to get this evening off to a start if you haven't watched my previous episode when i revealed the new wrap on the bike here it is i've still got this cover on because it is a little bit chilly now and then but i am going to be taking it off very soon i'm loving the look of this bike i'm so happy with it in the meantime while i'm waiting for some orders you legends have still been buying me red bulls and i've uh, run out so i need to buy some more this shop's got some flavors we're gonna go with watermelon cactus fruit and i'll get an original as well thank you i don't think i've tried the green one before but watermelon is my favorite which is this one here if you haven't tried it highly recommend it but yeah thank you to all you legends that buy me red bulls the first order's in paying six pound 88 it's a decent distance as well damn that's gonna be fizzy as hell now I had quite a few people asking about the delivery bag that i use this is the spartan pack hydra sling it's called the hydra sling because you get a handle that you can carry on your shoulder but i don't use it personally i don't mind it like this hello what 291 thank you customer note on here is leave it by the door i don't really want to leave food by the door maybe that's a note from uh, from covid times 2.5 miles 11 minutes let's get it westy is that you yeah Even numbers on that side, odd on this side. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna park over here because that is a disabled bay. Oh, yeah, it's enough for you. Can I get your code as well, please? 61. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. All right, let me go offline and then back on. Yep, I'm still in the zone. If you're a new delivery rider and you're using Deliveroo and you take a far order or you deliver a far order, just go offline and then go back online to make sure you're still in the zone. Because if you go to another zone, it doesn't automatically switch over. So you won't get any orders because you're too far from the zone, if that makes sense. Or you won't get any more orders until you go back into the zone where you picked up from. Uber Eats, you don't have to worry. When you get an order, you can just basically stay online and it automatically changes zone for you. I mean, Uber doesn't have zones anyway. It has got like different zones inside the app, but you don't have to switch over. It's pretty much uh, automatic. All right, I'm gonna head back down to the restaurants. Time is 20 to seven. The boost tonight is on until 8.45. So I'm probably gonna work till about 9 p.m. Surely there are people hungry on a bank holiday Monday and they don't wanna cook. I want to get a cheeky delivery. I just wanted to mention in my last couple of uploads, I've seen some comments regarding Rodeo and the Deliveroo connection. Rodeo are having some issues at the moment with their connection for Deliveroo and transferring over all of the rider data in terms of earnings and time online and restaurants that they picked up from. However, they have come up with a solution for that for the meantime until it's fixed. Oh, there's another order there. £7.26. I'm going to take that. And that solution is to download the invoice from Deliveroo and then upload it to the Rodeo app. And I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of this video. So if you are a Rodeo user, stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you exactly how to upload your invoice to the Rodeo app. All right, shoulder check. Come on, mate, are you turning or what are you doing? Yeah, you are turning. Okay. Just have to guess what you're doing. After you, mate. Maybe he didn't get the add on indicators. <laughs> this restaurant doesn't like delivery riders walking in, which is something I respect. I don't mind waiting outside, just as long as someone 
looks and sees what order I've got. Doo -doo. She's taken an order. And there's another member of staff at the back. Please look over here. Yeah. Hi. Nice. Cool. Just look how beautiful it is. I can't believe it's 7 pm and the sky is like that. I'm trying to explain how beautiful it is. We've got a police car racing by. Oh, hi, sorry. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you very much. Oh my god, how long was she standing there for? She probably thinks I'm crazy. This one's going up towards Bermondsey, 2.7 miles. There's a three pound tip included. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to park up because I clearly can't get in. I've just rang the buzzer, but nothing's happening. Hello? Hiya, delivery. Hello, mate. Yeah, maybe those vehicle gates don't work for mopeds. Is this open? It is. Uh, third floor, is there a lift? Yeah, boy. This way. Hi there, mate. Perfect. Thank you. Can I get your delivery code? Uh, yeah, 88. 88. Perfect. Thank you for your tip as well. Appreciate no it. Problem, Thank you. Have a good one. £17.14. My first order was just after half six. So yeah, it's been less than an hour. £17.14. Beautiful. I'm going to head towards the delivery hop and dark kitchen, which is just around the corner. And hopefully another order comes in very soon. Oh, I think it's time for another Red Bull. I'm going to go with the cactus fruit flavor. Hey, there we go. There's another order. £6.13. I think delivery was listening to me. Perfect timing because that's exactly where I was heading to. Let's go and get it. Oh god, we got some eggs in this order. Because none of this is hot food, I'm gonna fold up my delivery bag for now, just so I can fit both bags in here nice and snug. This bag folds up really well, and I can just slide it down the side there. Let's go get the two bags. Oh, okay. Are you right? 7242? Thank you. Whoa. Damn, that one is heavy. Easily 20 kilos. I'm a bit worried about this bag. I feel like it's gonna split. And then I'll put the other one. Cushion, nice and comfortable. <laughs> There's a guy in Amsterdam that makes this one and the, the rack. Yeah, thank you, man. Nice one. All right, got that order. This one is going three miles away. 15 minutes. Let's get into a nice little time lapse and get this delivery done. Oh god, everything's falling over. No, that's not good. Because we've got eggs in here. I'm hoping none of the eggs are broken. This one is so heavy. Oh, I can't even lock the box. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there's another order. Yeah. 69. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. All right, that's that order done. Now I've got another one, Smash Burger and Co. Where is that? Oh, I know where that is. It's the same place that I picked up from in my uh, previous episode when I was delivering with the Himiway Zebra. I got a good response from you guys and girls about that e-bike and I am really, really enjoying it. The reason why I went for an e-bike setup, it's not because I don't like my new, I love my new, but I just wanted to switch up the content. And I also have some other content ideas that I'm working on. I just uh, I just want to work on something new. So yeah, that's going to be coming very soon. Enough rambling on. Let's go and get this next order. 
and keep this delivery shift going if you're enjoying the content so far people then leave a like on this video down below don't forget to leave all of your comments most importantly if you're not subscribed to the channel and you watch my videos please just make a google account sign up and subscribe to the channel and help me reach the hundred thousand milestone hello mate yeah, one five four one One five four one. Five minutes. Five minutes. Seven double five. Seven double five two. Two minutes. Two minutes. Cool. Seven double five two. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, how far is this one? Yep, expected. Three point one miles. It's a nice far one. Cheers. All right, time has just gone. Literally one minute past eight. I'm gonna do an earnings update now. I've got 45 minutes left of the multiplier, 32 pound 38. So I've been delivering for an hour and a half and I've made 32 pound 38. That is pretty good. I'm gonna be working for one more hour. So let's see if I can hopefully finish on 50 pound because that is my target every time i go out and do a delivery shift i'm gonna head back to the uh delivery hop site and dark kitchen oh my god what happened to that zip van that does not look good all right just down another red bull i'm feeling super awake now another order's just come in picking up from a dark kitchen which isn't far it's paying over six pound as well i'm hoping to squeeze in like another four deliveries this one might even be a double by the time i arrive you do get quite a lot of doubles from dark kitchens so yeah this might be a double order yeah never know youtube yeah yeah you can follow me how are you good good man this is your videos like from GoPro, like you, I, uh, you, do you work in this area? Like yeah, I work in this area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never seen your video like here, like in this area. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I work and I don't now film. I can, now I can see, like, I can hear your voice. I used to see your YouTube videos. Like, <laughs> I'm a big fan of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right, nice. One order, no doubles. Oh, I love bumping into subscribers. You guys are legends. Unit three. Here we go. Hello mate, uh, 6910? Yeah, Deliveroo. Hey, hey, thank you, cheers. Super fast. It's telling me to search for some sort of code on Google Maps. The customer's left a note on there, which is very, very helpful. It's nice when customers do that. Just gonna make sure it matches the location that's been given to me as well. Uh, X, yeah it does. Eight minutes away. Oh, I think this is taking me the long way. It is. Let's do a quick UE and go this way. There we go. It was 2.1 miles going that way or 1.7 going this way. I'm hoping for a double to come in because that will be perfect. This one's only paying three pounds something, but I'm not declining any orders tonight. Just gonna accept everyone and see how much money I end up making. Here it is. All right, thank you. Cheers for that message, it really helps. This one, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I never knew you could do it. I'm gonna do it myself now because drivers never find my place. Yeah. Never. Yeah, it just makes everyone's lives easier when they leave uh, notes like that on there. Let's see how many drivers are here. Oh, there's quite a few. Might be a bit tricky trying to get a double from here. I'm gonna hang around anyway. You never know. There's another order, £6.73. Quite surprised that order come in because there's quite a few riders waiting. What's the time now? Oh, it's 33 minutes past eight. So this is going to be the last delivery on the uh, multiplier. But I'm going to be staying out till nine anyway. So I might be able to squeeze another one in. This one's paying £6.73. You can't say thank you, people, man. 
His wing stopped delayed, yeah. Oh. Nine seven three seven. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. Let's go get this one done. It's only twenty to nine. It's getting dark. I don't think I'm gonna finish on fifty pound. I'm gonna try. I'll try and finish on fifty pound, but I've got twenty minutes. If another order comes in on my way home, obviously gonna take it. I'm just gonna stay online until I arrive home. Try and get as close to that fifty pound target as I possibly can. This customer said they'll come down, but I don't think they will. Ooh, there's a double order there. Six pound fifty-five. I'll do that. It's exactly what I needed. What floor am I going? There you are. Can I get your delivery code? Seventy. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. All right, now on to this double KFC pickup. If you're interested in any of the kit that I'm using from GoPro mounts to motorbike helmet, Bluetooth headset, all of that good stuff. All of the links are down below this video and all of my other videos. Here we are then, KFC. I don't think I've picked up from this one before. It's gonna be a first. Where do all the delivery drivers park? Over here. No worries, man. Thank you. It's quite a big KFC order. So I'm gonna have to put this bag in first. This one, 1.1 miles. Let's go get it done. Hi, delivery. Thank you. 97. Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much, yeah. All right, on to the next one. Six minutes away, 1.2 miles. Let me just pop this other order back in this thermal bag. I mean, it will stay warm in here. As you all know, I like to double up on my thermal bags. I just think it keeps the food a lot more warmer than just using one. A bit overkill, I know, but I do care about this job. And I invest money into making sure that the customer gets hot food at the end of the day. I mean, as long as it's hot when the restaurant gives it to me, that's the main thing. But yeah, there's a lot of riders out there that don't, they don't care about the job. And I don't know what it is. It's only like a small, small percentage of riders that sort of paint a bad picture for those of us that actually care about the customer, care about the job. Um, and yes, it's a simple job of delivering food, not going on like we're brain surgeons or anything like that. But if you have a good attitude and you actually care about the job, you just have such such a more positive experience doing it if you don't care and you just i don't know don't use the correct bags or don't use a bag at all and just keep delivering cold food and stuff like that yeah it just it just paints a bad picture and gives a bad impression to uh to customers that we're, that we're all like that when we're really not and here we are at the final drop of the evening Oh, it's over here. Is that the one? Yeah, that's it there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, this is 1 to 27. I'm at the wrong bloody entrance. I noticed, I was like, wait, it only goes up to <laughs> number 27. Here we go. This is the right one. Oh yeah. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. And that is the last delivery of the evening. All right, let's get back downstairs and go through the earnings. All right, peeps. So the time is 20 to 10. Bang on three hours that I've been working. £52.25 tonight, and that was for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orders in total. 
got three pound in tips and then to find out the hourly rate that i've been making this evening 52 pound 25 divided by three is about 17 pound 40 an hour which is more than the minimum wage and that's quite a good hourly rate especially for a bank holiday monday i've just cashed that amount out and i'm waiting for it to reach my bank account and now i'm going to show you how to download your invoice once it reaches your email address and upload it to rodeo all right so once you've cashed out you will get an invoice sent to your email address there's the invoice simply save it to your device head over to the rodeo app click on activities in the bottom left of the screen and then in the top right you'll see there's a plus sign if you click on that and then upload invoice press upload select the invoice that you just downloaded and there we go the invoice is successfully uploaded and then when you head back to your rodeo activities you'll see that the invoice was manually added and this way you can track your earnings throughout the month but thank you very much for watching people i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have please smash that like button down below leave all of your comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here